Hey, you guys, welcome back. We're talking with uh, Barbara Telfer of Goodell's uh, Wasco County Public Library on the show today. And um, I wanted to I wanted to talk about picture books because before we went to the break, um, picture books are, in my mind, you know, you go through and you look at, you know, you know, a scenery or um, a particular location or something like that. But picture books to you, what does that mean and why is it important? Well, picture books are generally what kids first see. They're uh, usually about 32 pages long. Uh, they have a lot of picture and not a lot of words. And they're the things that you've read. Um, Dr. Seuss is an example, an excellent example of a picture book. Okay. They don't have to rhyme. Some of them have more words than others. But um, uh, speaking of Seuss, the, I uh, read to some kids for Reading Across America, and I had so much fun that I wanted to do it some more. And uh, so I went out to Channel with and read to them and had a really good time. And it's so much fun to to watch them listen to a yeah. book. But I think uh, adults seem to think that they don't need to look at that. They've, they've grown up and they don't need it. Well, they're some of the funniest things. That's one of the best parts of working at the library because I order books, I catalog books, and I process books. So I get a chance to look through these really short books. And we share them. I mean, there's ones about dust bunnies uh, having wars under the bed. And uh, one of my favorites is Good Dog Carl. He's a big old Rottweiler who takes care of the baby. And they have all of these adventures and never are found out by the adults. And, uh -huh. and just beautiful things and funny things and silly things. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I think adults kind of uh, lose something yeah. if they don't yeah. look at some of those things yeah. that are totally out of their realm. Right. Well, as you know, we get older, we think those things aren't necessary anymore. But, you know, a lot of that stuff is what helps shape us as adults, I would assume. Exactly. So, you know, I mean, I remember, you know, books and... Uh, Gosh, they were the little golden books. Yep. Do you guys have those? We still have some of those. Yeah. 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 And those were, you know, those were a major part of, you know, my childhood. Yeah. The and little dopey, po pokey little puppy is one. And yep, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, three billy goats gruff, oh, I yeah. think. Yeah. You know, with the troll under the bridge and all of that. So, um, yeah, I can see where, you know, that would be important to revisit or revisit as an adult sharing it like you did you know, with, with, with other ki kids. With kids, and yeah, it's interesting because you talk to moms and grandmas, and they go, yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Well, what about the uh, the genealogy? Because the, the library does have an extensive we genealogy. We have a very extensive genealogy. Uh, being the end of the Overland Trail, uh, so many people came through here. Uh, so we have an incredible collection of stuff that's called ephemera, which means it's not necessarily meant to last a long time. So, uh, but newspaper articles, we have of course a uh, collection, microfilm collection of all the papers of the local area from the 1860s on. Those are really interesting to look at. Um, but people come from all across the United States. Uh, the summer is our big time. People take vacations, do genealogy trips, and go and stop various places, uh, visit hometowns or places where people settled. And again, because the Dallas is the end of the Overland Trail, we get a lot of people in here to, to check out stuff. And so we have uh, books that the local genealogy uh, group has uh, donated a lot of, of books uh, to our collection. The friends have, have donated, donated the 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 uh, bookcases to house them. Wonderful. And uh, we have an uh, excellent resource. Our uh, uh, staff person, Lorna, who uh, knows genealogy, is part of the genealogy group here. Uh, you know, people come in on Mondays when she's not working and they'll say, we want to do this. And I go, okay, can you stay in town until tomorrow? Because we can help you, but yeah. Lorna can help you. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's a really amazing collection. Yeah. Well, and you know, that's a really important point because genealogy, you know, I mean, there's different websites out there and mm -hmm. stuff and just the internet in general, you know, in many people's minds, libraries aren't necessary anymore. But I know. libraries are necessary, and I want you to tell me a little bit about that because you guys are not, you, the, you kind of are, you know, a wild card on the internet when you search for something. You get all That's kinds right. of stuff. Some stuff you shouldn't, <laughs> but you get all kinds of stuff. So with a library, this is all approved, and it's been 
um, read through. And so it's very, um, I guess you would almost, it's, it's very intentional, like yes. what you have. And, and you guys, as clerks of the library, know what you have in, in, in your building. Yeah. So tell me real quickly about that. Well, um, first of all, the library was, uh, you know, really the forerunner of Google. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, the forerunner of Facebook, too, because people, you come and meet people here. Um, but we collect books that are, that mostly that people have asked for. There's other things that we get that uh, have good reviews. Uh, we rely a lot on uh, magazines that that's their sole purpose. The American Library Association has uh, all sorts of stuff, and we, we look at those reviews. But the main thing is it's the, it's the coming together of the raw information that we have, the way it's organized, and then the people who love it and take care of it and know where to go. Or, <laughs> this is another funny thing, it's almost a sickness. Somebody comes and asks a question, especially, this happened a lot when I was a school librarian. They'd come in and they'd say, well, what about this? And I go, well, you know, yeah, we should be able to find that. So I go looking for it and they'd say, oh, you know, I don't really care. And I go, too bad. <laughs> come back in 10 minutes, I'll have that answer for you. Yeah. And so you get uh, the, when you add that human factor, mm -hmm. Plus the fact that we see everybody coming through. Right, You right, know, we right. know people, uh, people tell us about their lives. Uh, somebody will come in and they'll, people come in and say, do you guys know so-and-so, like I'm back in town. Uh -huh. Or I'm, I'm, I personally am a hometown girl, class of 68 at the Dallas High, and so people <laughs> will come in and, you know, we have all the old annuals that we can collect. and they'll come in and look at those. So it, it's not just the fact that there's books or internet access or uh, other media like CDs and uh, DVDs and VHS tapes and audio books and you know all these other things, uh, it's documents. It's that hands-on experience it's, that the internet can never duplicate. It's that hands-on experience. Yeah. Well, Barbara, we're out of time. Oh. But thank you so much. It was uh, it was very entertaining, actually, just uh, learning more about the libraries. And thank you for your work. So okay. thank you again. Thank you. It's bye -bye. been a pleasure. And you guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Localite. John Compton here saying thanks again for watching. And remember, if you've got a guest idea, let us know. Just visit Localite.com.